What's up? I'm Safford, and this is Kate. Hey, guys. And this week, in honor of Oh Hallow's Eve, we are doing a Halloween special. And uh, I took to the streets in my own Halloween costume to see what costumes Carlton students are wearing on Halloween. Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Do you, uh, what do you guys want to be for Halloween? Mm, I don't know. I haven't given it much thought. Um, a goat? I, I don't know. I'm you want to be a goat? Why do you want to no. be a goat? Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Um, do you know what you want to be this Halloween season? No, I have absolutely no idea. I'm really bad at Halloween costumes. I might be Ron Weasley because my hair is kind of like... Go in the, Yeah. I can totally see that. You could be tiny Ron Weasley. What do you want to be for Halloween? Oh, I don't really... I'm not into Halloween. You're not into Halloween? No. No? No. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. What do you want to be for Halloween? Oh, it's top secret, sir. I can't tell you. What do you want to be for Halloween? I think I'm just going to have like a teeth and a cape and then... You're going to be a vampire? Yeah, sort of. Or you're just going to be a guy running around with teeth at a cape? Yeah. What really? are you going to be for Halloween? I, I am what I am for Halloween right now. What do you guys want to be for Halloween? Nothing. I'm taking my kids out, though. My kids are going to be a uh, pirate, and then one's going to be a Power Ranger, and the other's going to be Minnie Mouse. I'm going to be a drunken hobo. You don't want to be a Power Ranger? No Power Ranger. Why not? <laughs> I just don't ever dress up. The green one was my favorite. Oh uh, god, that was kind of murder. Yeah, I actually, I had to like walk all the way over here from f***ing Goodhue in this like cocktail dress I call my Halloween costume. Oh god, it's f***ing sweltering out here. I hate Halloween. Okay, we'll have more on my favorite holiday later, but now we're going to switch gears for a one minute news update with Brandon Walker. Brandon? Hi everyone and thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Walker with a quick look at some of the stories making headlines this week. It's a city in shambles. Given the recent fallout between several members of the city council and Mayor Lee Lansing, a meeting will be held to discuss the future of leadership here in Northfield. That meeting will take place this Thursday, November 1st in the city council chambers. More information is available via the city's website. Well, if the weather behaves, Good Cell Observatory is the place to catch stars, nebulas, and planets. Dress accordingly, of course, as the observatory domes are not heated. Open House takes place the first Friday of each month. More information is available on the Department of Astronomy and Physics website. This is a big weekend for future Carls. The Taste of Carlton will take place this weekend. Students from all over the U.S. will be on campus to get a taste of what Carlton is truly about. From academics to social life and, well, how to adjust to Minnesota weather, this will be the time for students to share that information with students. If you are interested in participating, of course, contact the admissions office. Before we leave you, a shout out to the soccer team. The soccer team, of course, has been crowned the Mayak champions and will face St. Olaf this Wednesday at 3 p.m. on Bell Field. I'm Brandon Walker with this news update. Thanks a lot for joining us. Of course, we'll be back with more headlines next week. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, we now turn to our political news correspondent, Jacob Shack. <laughs> Hello, this is Jacob Shack, and you are watching U News. It is January 14th, and I am currently broadcasting from Northfield, Minnesota. U News is a new program that I will broadcast once a week, which will summarize a series of important stories that I feel should be told to the public at large. Hello, this, this week, is I will Jacob Shack, and you that are, are watching U News. But it is January future, 14th, I will also and choose stories and broadcast in this my is Jacob in Shack, and you are watching you news, 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 news stories that it I will be broadcast in my future life in Minnesota. This is Jacob Shack, and you are watching news stories that I will be broadcast in my future life in Minnesota. This is Jacob Shack, and you are watching news stories that I will be broadcast in my future life in Minnesota. This is Jacob Shack, and you are watching news stories that I will be broadcast in my future life in Minnesota. This is Jacob Shack, and you are watching news stories that I will be broadcast in my future life in Minnesota. This is Jacob Shack, and you are watching news stories that I will be broadcast in my future life in Minnesota. This is Jacob Shack, and you are watching news stories that I will be broadcast in my future life in Minnesota. This is Jacob Shack, and you are watching well said, Jacob. Politics was also the theme of this week's Cream of the Convo, which features political editor of YouTube, Steve Grove. Uh, switching from YouTube to real movies, we go with our uh, one-minute film critics, Tom and Andy. So here are here are picks of some great movies you can watch tonight. Get yourself uh, in the mood proper. Right. My favorite romantic comedy, by the way, is One Fine Day, starring Michelle Pfeiffer and George Clooney. You say that for every <laughs> every time we do a special, you always have to. It's bring always that number in. one, no matter what season it is. So let's just get started. Um, 
Do you have a, a favorite Halloween movie you want to start off with, or? I made a top ten list, you actually. Made a top 10 well, list. I made a top ten list of uh, of my favorite kind of horror films that might not necessarily be on your radar. So you know, I didn't. Although I love, you know, Psycho, for example, I didn't put it on the list because, you know, we've all we all know Psycho. He's saying, "Don't watch Psycho tonight." Yeah, do something different this year for Halloween. <laughs> to hear more movie reviews by Tom and Andy, you can tune in to KRLX. And if you want to know more about what it's like to be a DJ on KRLX, here's better to the 30-second "What It's Like to Be a DJ for a Day" video diatribe. I have no idea what your thing is. Video <laughs> something. Visual tour. 